Welcome to the For Pockets Audio Introduction into Audio and MIDI Interfaces for the iPad. We get quite a lot of questions on this subject from iPad owners who want to be a bit more adventurous in their music making. They know they can connect their keyboards, drum machines and guitars to the iPad but want some guidance on what's available and how to connect them. We hope you find this video helpful. There are a number of inexpensive audio interfaces that can be connected via the iPad's headset socket. The best known of these is the iRig adapter from IK Multimedia. This is a mono interface best suited for guitar users and is a great entry level interface for digital recording. The iRig adapter interface has a quarter inch female jack to accommodate a standard guitar lead and a one eighth inch female stereo jack to connect your headphones to. This is a great setup for practicing that won't annoy your neighbours. Another alternative is the amp kit adapter from PV. The interface includes a built-in preamp to help eliminate feedback. Like the iRig adapter, this comes complete with a quarter inch female jack to accommodate a standard guitar lead and a one eighth inch female stereo jack to connect to your headphones. The amp kit is slightly better in terms of sound quality than the iRig, but this is reflected in the price. For those of you who already own the Apple camera kit adapter, you can also make use of USB sound interfaces, providing that they're iOS compatible. iOS compatibility means the devices require no additional drivers and they meet Apple's specification in terms of power consumption. There are alternatives to Apple's camera kit adapters available, which provide additional functionality and are often available at a reduced cost. Here we can see a USB audio interface being plugged into an alternative camera kit adapter. The Apogee Jam offers a much improved sound quality over the similar headset adapters. This is a digital interface ideally suited for guitars, giving crystal clear audio and no unwanted feedback. The Apogee Jam offers a standard quarter inch guitar jack, but unlike the other interfaces, provides no headphone socket. Use the built in iPad headphone jack or entertain your neighbours with your great guitar riffs. One of the most exciting interfaces to hit the iPad in the last few months is the Alessis IO Dock, which offers a vast array of analog and digital audio inputs and outputs, as well as a built in MIDI interface. This is an elegant interface which provides additional power to your iPad, so no fear of your batteries going flat on stage. So let's take a closer look. On the back of the dock, we have two quarter inch jacks providing line out with a direct switch which allows direct monitoring of audio input. Next are the two quarter inch jack sockets which also double up as XLR inputs. These have independent gain controls and make up the left and right channels of a single stereo input. The inputs are switchable between guitar and line levels. There is also a phantom power switch for the XLR inputs. On the right of the dock, we have a headphone output and a volume level control, as well as an independent volume control for the main out. The Alessis IO dock supports the iPad and the iPad 2 and deals with the difference in thickness by using a clever plastic insert. Here we can see the iPad 1 fitting nicely into the I.O. dock. To use the iPad 2, simply insert the plastic spacer and lock into position. The spacer helps align the iPad correctly into position in the dock. To the right of the dock, we have MIDI in and out ports as well as a USB MIDI through, which can be connected to a PC or a Mac. These MIDI ports are compatible with Meteor Multitrack Recorder, Aurora Sound Studio HD and Stompbox. For those of you with a camera adapter kit who want to make use of the MIDI compatibility in our software, 
but without the budget for an I.O. dock. The EMU MIDI tab offers a cheaper alternative and works just as well as the more expensive interface. We hope you find this guide helpful. If you have suggestions for other audio and MIDI interfaces that are compatible with the iPad and that you think we should include, please let us know.